Divine. Welcome back to another episode of Jack Snacks. Today we're going to talk about the classic bluegrass fiddle tune, Whiskey Before Breakfast. Hello, good people. All right, so everybody needs a capo on the second fret, and we're going to be playing out of the C chord position. So I'll be calling the C, G, F, okay? Um, let's talk about the rhythm, okay? You've got a C chord. F, C, G. Okay, that's our first bit. F, C, G, C. Then it gets tricky. Okay, so that's F, C, G, C. All right, and that's the A, and that happens two times. So A1, A2, so that would be. That's the entire A. Then the B section goes C. That's a D minor chord. And then usually a G or a G7. So. Okay. Then we come into the descending part. Okay. So this will often be played with some inversions to keep the bass line sounding like it's descending. So we want to hear. Okay. So the B section all in would be one, two, three, four. So now that we understand the harmony that we're playing over, that kind of lays out the framework for the song. Most bluegrass songs follow the same, you know, formula. There's an A section that's repeated twice, and then a B section that's repeated twice, and there's a, a melody or a head that is played over top of that, usually by <clears throat> two or three of the melodic instruments in the ensemble. And then once that's stated, much like in jazz, actually, 
that's the, the lead melody is stated and then passed around to the various instruments at, at the jam. So let me start by teaching you the head, okay? So there's two pickup notes, okay? That's gonna be open A and then the B note. And we come on our downbeat onto this third fret A string, okay? And that's our opening phrase. So let's break that down. That's just climbing the C major scale, or this, you know, this, it's not actually the C, the C chord position scale is actually, okay? So we're starting here. Gonna come up to this open G string. And uh, once we're there, I want you to keep, I want you to kind of keep your hands in the C chord formation. And then strum through, and if you catch the, the little bit of the D string, so be it. But really, we're trying to focus our energy really on this top part of the triad. Okay, then we're going to take our middle finger here and go. Okay. So we're going to go open G, then second fret. So that's down, up, down, up, down, up. Okay. So then we climb back up and we tag the F chord. Okay. Okay. Because remember, we're soloing over. So over that boom, 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 we're going to play. So that little lick can be a little tricky for the first timer. Now I play this kind of extended, this no self-respecting traditional bluegrass guy would do this, uh, but it's a, it's a nine with a major seven in it, okay? But really what it is is just me being lazy and keeping my, my finger droning over top of this, this top part of the uh, C chord shape, okay? Okay. Like that. So that's F C G. And that's we're sliding into the the fifth of the G shape. Now, as we come back down that, that's again we're fulfilling our, our need to play over that G chord so over the C chord now G chord now we have to get back to this C note on the next downbeat which is coming right up so some guys will go sorry personally find that to be a recipe for disaster so I use my pinky uh, I'm used to playing this as a as a C chord form so I, I take advantage of that and I fret that next downbeat on on this with my pinky and we do it again sorry this time it would be Okay, same little bit. And up until that point, it's the exact same, right? Now we're gonna climb up. All right, so you gotta get your right hand picking every one of those notes. Let's try playing that down a notch. One, two, one, two, three. Okay, and now we're going to repeat that.
two A's. C, C, G, C. And I'm out of the C chord position here. Okay. So that melody is... And as much of the C chord as you can keep down. Then our D chord shape. Okay, then. So. It's going to be first fret B string, open B string, and then on the G string. That's an F chord shape. And you can get that kind of fiddly, um, cadence to it that if you want to I tend to play it a little bit more like a guitar player good. let's look at that B section going to do is we're going to start climbing this uh, C chord shape scale okay in this little sequence okay that's our line And it's very important that the downstrokes are on downbeats. And if you can, try to put a little extra dynamics into these top little notes. Where it kind of builds a little bit. You don't want it to sound like you're just running a scale exercise. Okay, so once we get up to that, that, that first fret B string, okay? 
we're gonna do this little F chord shape backwards. Then hit the third, sorry. Like that. So that's how we play over the F, C, and G. We're gonna go. Okay, just like the head. And then again, just like the head. Again with the pinky, okay? So all in. there on that. That's how you get that effect. With the click, two, three. there was that little partial little up down or down up that up. you can definitely do those when you have enough time okay okay always want to keep the idea about the hand moving the second you tighten up kaput you're over up to the F and we're going to do the series of pull-offs and hammer-ons to get through the F, C, and G part. F, C, G. So on the C and G chords, we end on the fifth of the chord. So that would be the open G string over the C chord. And over the G chord, we end over the open D string. F, C, So, all in. And then we still have a little bit of the G chord to play over. That. All right, and then we come in on the downbeat. We're gonna climb from C, open E, all the way up to the G. Again, we're going to repeat that on the A string. I think everybody knows how to do that. And here's where things get weird. It's this series of triplets played with pull-offs and slides. going to go chromatically up to the second uh, fret and I would suggest you slide don't okay I, I definitely think this is easier than than using a second finger okay and you that's a lot right Open E string there before we play this little partial F chord. C, and then we come to a G7 shape where we strum through, deadening the A. Open E. All right, so. Okay, so we just played. All right, and now 
now we're coming into the first time we play the B during a guitar solo, okay, instead of the head. Pinky slides up, unison. Then we come into our D shape. So over the C chord, over the D chord, then we do a, I did, I think I did a little triplet in there. So that's a partial C chord, right? That's the C chord. C, so that's C, G, and then, but we're gonna harmonize it. Okay. We're gonna go. sliding up the third to the fourth fret and then hitting the open string so nope yes so this is part and parcel of like that ragtime and uh, bluesy both thirds kind of rubbing against each other like you were crunching on a piano right okay okay and then back to the D minor Except I do. So this is a little hammer on into the D to get that triplet. So that's down, hammer, up, down. That is coming up from this C sharp note. Okay. Down on the F. Okay. So once we play that C note, Kind of a kind of a sequence there. Okay. Yeah. 
let's start here. Okay, that's one, three, open one, three on the B and E string. Okay, now we're gonna do a position shift. See that, we're starting here and then we come here with that ring. That's our F chord, C chord, to the G chord. It's our first time through the progression. So that's a G, and then we deaden the A string with the fatty part of our pad, right? The, the ring finger there. And that gives us the ability to strum through. And resolve. Here to the eighth fret middle finger. That's going to feel very comfortable. Right? Here's where it's going to feel bad. You're not going to like that, okay? Open E string. Open. Open. Do that a bunch. Again with the position. Okay, so I believe the first time is uh, dyads. Uh, chromatically up ends on an upstroke. We're going to come up here to the ninth fret and do this little trill. Again, that's going to be difficult. Open string, okay? So what are we doing? Open, third on the B, and fifth on the G string, okay? Open B, and that brings us back. So we're gonna take that and we're gonna refine that idea just a little bit more. So we've come up here, instead of going, we're going, okay, and now, position shift again, fourth fret. Okay, that's a flat third. Okay. That's what I did. So that's three, five, three. To the open after the fourth fret. Then one, three, open. And then again. All right, I know it's a lot. It's, it's definitely a bitch, okay? <laughs> gang we can see the finish line from here we just have to make it twice through the B section okay so that's gonna be over the C D minor okay so we just finished uh, right 
right? Something like that. And now we're coming into the B. So C, 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 that kind of thing. Then we're gonna come with our pinky here. So it's kind of a ragtime vibe. Five, flat five, four, flat three, three. And this, you know, old chestnut. from the D down to the C note. Okay, which aren't Ds or Cs. It's just going to feel like that because of the capo. That's going to feel weird. But it's okay. We kind of come up into the... Coming up out of the... Out of the D minor into this G. Alright, so... up for a downstroke on this okay this D note here at the third fret okay capo again so up. all right and now we're gonna start just cross picking across these middle four strings one two one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four okay So it's going to be a C chord shape, and we're just going to drop, and we're going to leave the C, okay? You could do, if you want, or, or, yeah, but I like, that's going to be the A as the third of our F chord in the bass. So... Again, uh, I, I, I went all downstrokes there, don't. So C, B with the C up top, A in the base of an F chord, back to C chord. Then we come to F chord and I leave the high E open. What, major seven in bluegrass? I do it all the time, sorry folks. Okay. I don't think of it so much like I'm playing an F major seven chord as I'm anticipating the C by putting its third over the last bit of that F chord. See how that kind of sounds sweet going into that into that, that C chord? So one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. That's just a regular little C chord. Then a G chord. I may have skipped the third and gone up. That kind of thing, so. Okay, and that's our first time through the last B. Okay, we only have one more to go. So we're right here. We're gonna keep our hands in this kind of shape, but bring it to our other, you know, this shape, and bring it up all the way to the 12th fret. Again, over top of that C chord, okay? This right here is a traditional bluegrass sound. Okay, if you want to be totally traditional, right, that's just cross pegging. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. But I do a little pull off here and bring the major seven in, and I kind of like that dreamy sound.
That is not a traditional vibe, but it just sounds pretty, so I, I do it. Same shape back here to the ninth fret and down a string set. Okay, but what are we playing over here? This is over the D minor chord, right? And so we're doing D minor, D minor six, D minor seven. That kind of thing, you, that's chef's choice, man. You can double it up if you want to. It's just a little too flashy, I think. So this gives it that nice nine, six. Okay, so we just gonna. And then we're gonna slide up to the third of our chord. You got to backdoor your way into that F chord. Don't hit the uh, E that second time. Once again. So then I quote the melody one last time. like that. I think I did that. And then play, you know, shave and a haircut. That's a G7 chord with a third in the bass. All right, and that's all she wrote, okay? things up for us today on Jack Snacks. Thanks so much again for stopping by. I'm so glad I got a chance to show you my take on Whiskey Before Breakfast. Awesome old fiddle tune. I've been playing it for years. Really enjoyed it. Uh, I got to give a shout out to my boys Rip and Jerry and you know all the gangs over at 145 Lincoln. Um, awesome bluegrass hang for all those years. And, uh, you know, I thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you're hearing, learning, uh, you know, watching, whatever, please subscribe, share, and uh, like or comment, you know, down below. All right? I appreciate it very much. I'm in, a, I'm in a contest with my son's friend to see who can get more subs. So help me win, okay? Anyway, take care, everybody. I hope you're well.